Hey guys, how we going? Uh, sorry, it's about like 12. Still, just barely had time to do anything today. I've been so freaking busy. And I actually uh, stayed home today. I was really feeling really dizzy today, but uh, you know what? I'm feeling better. I took some, finally bought some medicine, some uh, Robitussin, and uh, I'm feeling better. I think that's all I needed. Because I try, when I get sick, I try not to drink any medicine because it, I heard like it's bad for or makes your immune system weaker or something like that. But I took some medicine and I'm feeling a lot better now. Um, yeah. But I've had a hectic day. I woke, I woke up like at 7, wasn't feeling good. Um, and then went to uh, sleep, woke up at 12, got a good rest, and then uh, got to work on some homework, and my computer craps out, yep, uh, and it's not even anything big, it's just a freaking little plug, so the AC adapter uh, broke, and now you can't charge it, so there's no way to turn on my laptop now, right? So I uh, see thought what I could do. I had an old e-machines desktop, about like a 2009, not that old, but you know, it was like a $400 desktop, and uh, I had it optimized, and I had, with the help of my friend, I got Windows 7 Ultimate on it and everything a while ago, but I never used it because I uh, made it for my sister to use, but she never uses it. Uh, she's always trying to use my computer, but now I took it back. <laughs> so it's my computer now. Uh, added it's added RAM. Bought bought new RAM for it. But and then I uh, put the old uh, hard drive from the laptop into the desktop, and now I have my files because all my homework was finished and ready to print. But uh, yep. Yeah. And then I took it to Fry's and they're like, oh, okay, it's going to be like $70 for a diagnostic and it's going to be like 100 and something for parts we have to order. And I was just like, this is BS. Because uh, last time the power button on my laptop broke because I took it to uh, school and like somehow it broke. When I got home, I noticed it was broken. I took it to Fry's, they're like $70 diagnostic, $200 for the parts. They're gonna order like a whole new frame thingy. I was like, oh my, I'm, I can't pay that. The computer's worth like five hundred dollars. I'm not gonna pay two hundred and fifty dollars to get a to get a little part fixed. Uh, so I invested about fifteen dollars, bought a soldering iron, some solder, a power switch, and a few little components for about fifteen dollars. And I installed them myself, and now my computer work was working. And now the freaking AC adapter broke. But yeah, it's all good. Um, it's actually in the living room, plugged into the uh, HDTV in the living room, the 42 inch. So I have to wait for everybody to go to sleep so I can actually use it. Because I don't have an another monitor. But yeah, sorry about that, guys. Uh, I, I forgot why. Oh yeah, I told. I'm telling you this because. I'm doing this unboxing so freaking late, uh, and I'm sorry, uh, but I'm really freaking excited. I've been waiting to do it all day. Got my Kershaw Cryo. Yeah, small white red box. Now this is from my buddy Kevin's, or uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'll call it, I'll call it Ked. Uh, I'm not sure if he wants me to say his name. Um, but is uh, I'll give you a clue, I guess. If you, he's a gun, he used to be a gunsmith, and uh, he shared the name with the guy from uh, Gunsmoke, the engraver at Gunsmoke. So that's his name, uh, Kedzen. He's an awesome freaking knife maker on YouTube that I subbed as soon as I started getting into knives, uh, and uh. He's been one of my biggest inspirations, and uh, well, yeah, inspirations, and uh, yeah, he had a contest uh, while just recently where 
he was going to give away a custom neck knife to one of his subscribers and I was epically lucky to win and I believe this is it very very nicely packaged man by the way it's really nice feels all soft and like airtight or not airtight but like cushiony so it's good it's not going to get damaged in the mail which always happens to me or it did happen once so since then I always package my stuff super freaking I go ape with the freaking tape and stuff. Check it out. Oh my god. So freaking excited. Oh man. Oh my goodness. What the heck. Leather. Oh wow. This is so freaking cool man. Oh my god. Dude guys check that out. That's just freaking epic. Oh no way man. Check that out. Oh, and he put his logo on there. Awesome. Guys, this thing is freaking awesome. So freaking comfortable, too. Wow. You got like a two and a half inch blade here. Super freaking sharp. Super freaking sharp. It's crazy sharp, guys. But man, this thing is so freaking cool in that gun bluing, the bluing he did on there. Wow. Guys, this thing's epic. Thank, sorry about the noise, guys. Dude, thank you so much. This means so much to me. I'm going to go inside and play with it. But man... No blade, I mean, no rattle. But guys, oh my god. He is a master. Wow. That is freaking awesome. That is freaking awesome, guys. Thank you so much, man. I'm gonna go freaking play with this right now. Admire it. Um, sorry guys, I'll make an overview overview video later on, telling you all about it. But for now, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it, and I'm so freaking happy that I won. You don't even know. Well, yeah, guys, I gotta get going. But uh, thank you for watching, and please let me know what you think of this freaking awesome knife. Hopefully, one day my knives will be this good. But yeah, guys, take care. <clears throat> I gotta go. Later, guys. <laughs> you said that like 10 times, huh? Alright, guys. Take care. Bye.